So for today's tutorial, you are going to need your stem wind or florist stretch tape, some wire around 0.71mm and a hot glue gun. And this is what we're making, the gerbera from the cry cut site. Please refer to this mat and code and we can get started. Hi there, welcome back to the creative button. So today we are going to be looking at gerberas. Um, Gerberas are quite a good one. They're quite a large flower, but not too overpowering. I tend to stick to jewel like colours um, when I'm doing these. So reds and pinks, and you can get lime green gerberas and um, oranges, so lots of hot colours, but you don't, don't tend to get blue gerberas or purpley gerberas. So um, I've used a 216 GSM solid core stock again, which is what I've been using for all of the flowers I've been making. So we're going to rush straight ahead. Obviously, I'll give you the code for this particular cutting file uh, and then we can we can start making. So as you can see, you're going to need three of these um, daisies as your base. And we're just going to glue those tabs together. Um, I find these quite therapeutic making the gerberas. They're quite a nice one to make. And they're quite nice to slot onto the wreath. So I did go a bit mad there on the glue. So you're making a sort of a cone shape and then just bring those petals down. Try not to use as much glue as I just did because you're getting such a tangle. And then I'm going to use my trusty scalpel and I'm just going to curl just very gently just to give a softened look on those leaves or petals. So they just start to soften. So we'll do the next one. So again, just bring those two together and then either a back of a pair of scissors or like I'm using my scalpel we're just going to stretch that paper slightly like we would do with the curling ribbon and soften the petals again so that's two and then the last one for this complete flower again bring them together hold it in place till it sets and we should be okay so bring those petals down oh i've just been brought a cup of tea lovely thank you and just curling those petals any little bits of glue that you're not happy with just take off i'm going to have to use a scalpel for that one okay now next thing we're going to do is join these two three together and so we're going to put a little blob of glue in the middle of the flower and then we're going to arrange it to the point where they're not offset okay so they're offset from there so we'll do the next one this is quite satisfying doing this bit and then again we're just going to swivel that round a bit so there you've got your daisy you've got three layers there uh, it's looking good now there are two as an inner layer and an outer layer and then a central central point so we need to do the larger one first which is this one so there's a little tab on there which is quite handy and you can just put a tiny blob of glue and join those together and that gives that a little bit of 3d effect okay and then that's going to sit in the middle of that flower there you can see so I'm just going to put a little blob of glue I'm not going to put too much because you don't want to see it but you do want it to anchor it to what you're working on so we're just going to pop that in there again just swivel it round until you're happy with the position and where it lays on that lily lily gerbera talking about okay We'll hold that that's now stuck and then we're going to do the next one the next one is a little finer so 
So same thing applies. A little bit of glue on that edge. You can see. And then we're going to bring those two together. Hold it steady until it sets. Kind of looks like a little crown. Okay, and then when you're happy, you can then put that into the next layer. And again, just sit in there until you're happy. And that should lay on top. Like that. And you can bring those petals out if you wish. Probably easy to do it with a little pair of tweezers up. So there we are now. And then the next bit we are going to roll the last section. So I'm just going to take my trusty tweezers just to get that roll going. And then continue it with my fingers, which is easier. There we go. And then you've got your centre. And then just, I roll it up quite tight. And then I just let it unfurl a little bit because it's easier to deal with. It's like a coiled spring. And then, there we go. And then I'm going to hold that so that that's nice and snug. You can see that. Okay, now that's set. So the next thing you need to do is you need to place these fronds into the middle and then we'll gently tease them out. So we're going to put a little blob of glue on the base. And then we're going to hold that right in the center nice and square and true and then we're going to start to tease these central points out again a gerber is a lot i quite like daisies so a gerber is a nice one to do and then what i tend to do is i just tease out the outside petals so it all starts to blend with the bigger petals around the outside like that get rid of those glue webs so there we go so now we've got the the basic flower we can move on to wiring it. Now with this one, it didn't come with any uh, leaves as such, so I will do those later. So I'm just gonna literally wire this ready to go. So I've made a little loop. And I'm gonna bend that up, so then we end up with it like that. And then I'm going to put a very neat blob of glue on the top of that cone. And place it very gently on there. And then hold that until that dries. Which it should do in a second. And on that wreath, I had quite a lot of gerberas. I did pink gerberas, purple gerberas, red gerberas, yellow gerberas, and green gerberas. No blue gerberas. I've never seen a blue gerber. So I'm going to hold that there. That gives you a good base. And then I shall put some tape around later when I've done the leaf. So another one to add to your collection. As you can see now, you should be getting a really nice collection of flowers. So we've got some really nice textures and shapes starting to happen. Okay. So I think you might have a few more to make. And I'm going to carry on. But practice makes perfect.